repeat old friend. There isn't really much change in our hometown since you left. This morning, I couldn't find any more the crib of Simeona, the cat we buried at the foot of Miguel's mango tree when we were in grade 4. After she was hit by a truck while crossing the street. The bulldozer has messed it up while making the feeder roads into the mountains to reach the hordes of the farmers. The farmers come down every Sunday to sell their agony and sweat for a few pesos, lose in the cockpit, or get drunk on the way home. A steel bridge named after the congressman's wife now spans the grave river where Tasha, the old goat, has split the skin of our young lizards to make us a man many years ago. The blue hills where we used to shoot birds with slingshots or spend the summer afternoons we loved so much doing nothing in the tall grass have been bought by the mayor's son. Now, there's a barbed wire fence about them. The birds have gone away. The mayor owns a big sugar plantation, three new cars and a mansion with a gate overhung with some pagita. Inside the gate are guys who carry a rifle and a pistol. We still go to Congo store for rice and sardines and sugars and nails for the coffin. Still, only a handful go to Mass on Sundays. In the church, the men talk, sleep, the children play. The priest is said. Last night, the storm came and blew away the cornflowers. The cornfields are full of cries. Your cousin, Julia, has just become a whore. She likes good clothes, good food, big money. That's why she became a whore. Now, our hometown has seven whores. Pete, old friend, every time we had good reason to get drunk, and be carried home in a wheelbarrow, we always remember you. Oh, we miss both Pete and Pedro. Remember us to your American wife, you lucky bastard. Is Lau, your cock-eyed uncle, call himself Stanley after he began wearing the clothes you sent him last Christmas. P.S. Tasha, the old goat sends your lizard his warmest congratulations.